What a frustrating and potentially embarrassing situation. You take friends out to dinner, but the gift cards you plan to use are rejected. Now, when this happened to a Citrus Heights woman, she called Curtis. Yeah, what do you do when your gift cards don't work? Carolyn Duran paid the bill and then turned her attention to the website she got the cards from, sackdine.com. I'm not going to get a check. I'm just being blown off. That's Carolyn Duran's evaluation of her situation. It started three months ago when she tried to redeem these two gift cards at the broiler in downtown Sacramento. She says she bought them two for one at sackdine.com almost a year ago. Back at the broiler, the waiter returned to her table. And he said the owner said that we cannot accept them, that too many were printed. I'm thinking, well, that's not my problem. <laughs> that's between sackdine.com and the broiler. Carolyn started her email campaign with Mike at sackdine.com. He got back to her right away at first. She says he apologized and told her Sackdine is a sponsor of the Kenny G concert next Friday and would like to personally treat you and a guest. She politely declined and agreed to wait for a refund check, but she says that check never came. She sent six more emails until Mike replied. They tried calling her, but her number was busy. His last reply was on January 24th. And he said that this is ridiculous. I apologize. I'll make sure you will have it this week. Nothing. Then February 3rd, Michael, it's been over a week since our last email conversation. I still don't have a check. <laughs> Thank you, Carolyn. <laughs> that was her final email to sackdine.com. I just want my money. That's easy. Shouldn't take this long to get a check for $25. We got in touch with Mike Anthony at sackdine.com. He told us he had sent Carolyn a refund check and Visa gift card for 50 bucks. Then last week he said Sackdine has no record of Ms. Duran's purchase with our company. And Ms. Duran has not been able to provide us with a record of purchase. <coughs> Carolyn couldn't provide us with proof of purchase either. Anthony's point being that sackdine.com gives away 75% of their cards as charitable donations. He goes on to say they recognize that Ms. Duran had a Sackdine gift card in her possession and that they issued her a refund and added a $50 American Express gift card so she could go to a restaurant of her choice. She got that Amex gift card for Target and refund check in the mail the next day. And off. now she's happy. And I also wonder if I'm the only person in this situation. Well, the broiler says Sackdine printed 500 more $25 gift cards than they agreed to. Sackdine has not confirmed that number with us. The broiler says if you have any of their gift cards, call them before using them. And tonight on Facebook, some viewers say it's a good idea to present the card at any restaurant before you order just to make sure it's good. You don't have an embarrassing situation at the end of the meal. If you have a consumer problem you can't resolve, maybe we can call the hotline Monday through Friday, or you could always go to our website, cbssacramento.com, click on Contact Curtis, and fill out our form.